So Jacksonville, you know, they got some exciting. They're a young team, you know. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, uh, Travis Etienne, who's come who's come on as of late since they got rid of James Robinson, um, Christian Kirk, who they overpaid for in the offseason. A lot of people said he's he's playing he's playing amazing this year. Um, gonna be interesting to see when they have Calvin Ridley next year with the Calvin Ridley and um and Kirk. I think they're they're gonna be a fun team to watch. Um, but yeah. Their main thing has been they're pretty much their defense as far as the season. Um, I think I, they pretty much rank about halfway in all, all categories. But uh, top ten in points allowed, they have only aver- like their teams are only averaging eighteen points a game against them so far this year. So, you know, they, they're playing they're, they're playing good ball. Um, obviously, they're a young team still, so they can't close out games. I think I've seen a couple of games where they've lost the, at the uh, at the end. Um, I like guess the Denver game in London was a, was was a big one. They had they had that game the whole time. Um, my question is, what, what are things you're looking for um, against Jacksonville in a, in, a, in a young defense like this? Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's you know, you got to stop that at runner at the end, man. He suckers been he's, he's been toting the rock. So mm-hmm. you know, we've talked about that, that we've been giving up some some yardage uh, running the football. So we we definitely got to stop him. Uh, Christian Kirk is a great receiver. Uh, Zay Jones is a good receiver, also. Yeah. Uh, so. It's, it's going to be a nice little challenge. Doug's going to throw some things out here. He's a he's a uh, uh, you know a product of of Andy and that coaching tree. So they're being very familiar. They're going to know as far as like what they're running, what it looks like. Uh, I think, man, with our young guys, it's, it's going to be a good challenge for them. Some good receivers they're going up against. And I think the more so the, the the point is you stop their running game, and then you try to get those guys keep them in front of you. Don't let them get deep on you. Uh, and you know you should be able to beat them. You should be able to beat them. I think. Sure, I don't know what the what the weather's going to be out there in Kansas City, but man, going from from Florida where they go, I'm sure they got the hurricane down there now, so they're going to be happy. But yeah, still they might have a little chill. You know, I don't know. I mean, you know, might be a little breezy out there for them. So hopefully, that's <laughs> that'll lay on them some. And that's and that's a one o'clock start too, so that's going to be. Uh... Let me, I'm going to see real quickly what the uh, weather is Sunday. Wow. 42 degrees on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Winter is here. <laughs> get on them. Get on them, Breeze. Get on them. You know, they'll so. be coming out in the uh, in their uh, long sleeves of thermal wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to love when we played San Diego like that. You see guys all the long sleeves. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. All that softness. We got them. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure there were some guys on, on the team, like, you know, like, um, like, the, like the Jared Page types, the guy who's from L.A., who had, came out to Kansas City was not ready for that in that winter. Yeah, no, no, but they adapted. You know, they had they had no choice. They had to adapt, so they 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 kind of got into it. But when you got a team that had to, that that's in a very warm climate and then had to come out to a cold, that's a whole different. That's a whole different trip, <laughs> all in itself. Yeah, I saw I saw a funny thing because you know Buffalo's uh, that they're getting a new stadium in the next coming years. Um, yeah. I guess one of the pictures they saw, because you know, it's it's not it, it, they're still developing, it, so it was like one of those like pictures. Um, and someone was like, someone on Twitter was like, is that is that, is that, a, is that a retractable roof? Someone's like, uh, someone's like, yeah, I, I believe so. Like, hell no, it's Buffalo. We're, we're, we're going to keep, we're, we're going to use that element forever. It's never, we're not going to have a retractable roof. <laughs> yeah. We well, don't have to play in it, buddy. You still have a retractable roof to keep some of the code in there if you wanted to, but Oof. yeah, man. Yeah, so I have places like Buffalo, Kansas City, New England. Those are places that have to keep that, like you know, that element because that's that's one thing we we have. You know, you, you got the you got the winner. They got the, the chills of the winner. Whereas like teams like Jacksonville, they got to come up there in the playoffs. You're gonna mean like that's the, that's that's a new world for them. Yeah, yeah. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show. Subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get podcasts.